which caused the German Air Force that it couldn't fly, and that did, did help to, too. And have we, here we have the gentleman of the Sikhs. There was a Sikh battalion, a 14th battalion uh, at, at uh, Gallipoli, and here we have the Sikh band coming around for the second time. Some of the eagle-eyed viewers at home might have uh, spotted, uh, at least within the Royal Australian Navy contingent marching earlier this morning, uh, some Sikh members that have a very strong uh, military her heritage that carries through to the Australian Defence Force today. And a number of years ago, uh, the Royal Australian Navy coat of uniform was changed uh, to enable Sikh members to wear um, their turban as their headdress. Um, obviously in a war situation, the, the turban will come off and they'll, they'll don any flash gear. Uh, and it's part of the culturally diverse Royal Australian Navy. And equally, um, women of the Muslim faith uh, can wear the hijab now as part of their ceremonial uniform. Uh, and I think that's tremendous. It shows that uh, the Australian Defence Force is becoming inclusive of all people who are serving uh, or are willing to serve our Defence Force. At one stage, in fact, that I, was a company, I had a company, was a company commander, my driver was a Sikh driver, complete with jungle green turban. Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, when I was an apprentice, we had Malaysian Sikhs uh, serving with us at HMAS Marimba, and they would wear a, a blue turban in their working rig and a white turban uh, in their ceremonial rig. Well, it, oh, um, I believe that Sikh band is from Malaysia. Uh, it is. It's from it Singapore. Is. It comes out every second year, and it's, it's actually privately funded. It's Singapore or Malaysia? I thought I saw a Malaysian band. Could be either. Uh, uh, but anyway, behind them is a Sikh regiment led today by Colonel Charanjit Singh Chima. Uh, during the First World War, the Sikh regiment served at the Western Front, Gallipoli, Middle East and Mesopotamia. During the Third Battle of Caritha at Gallipoli, the 14th Sikh battalion lost more than half its numbers killed or wounded. There are, as I can see, the, the friends I have, uh, the Jaswin, the Singh Sudhu and his son. You can see at the back there a uh, Royal Australian Navy member, current serving member, yes. who's uh, come back around really? the march. Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. The Sikhs also, of course, uh, fought in the North African campaign and also in Italy. And there's the battle on, as you can see, where they fought. Everywhere. <laughs> Again, there's a song, uh, I like, I've been everywhere. I like, the, I like the Papua New Guinea uh, on the yeah, right hand side. <laughs> <laughs> Spell check didn't work. No, but most of it would 